here is Carson's outfit. It's so cool. What are you wearing? Legos. Legos? Well, why did you choose to wear uh, blue on Legos? I don't know. Is it your favorite? Mm -hmm. I like it. Did you do it all by yourself or you had some help from mom and dad? Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Wall of the red carpet. Ooh, These are the kindergarten sight words space rockets. This one's like Carson's class. And look who's one of the ones at the top. Carson. Good job, Carson. Mommy's so proud of you. Okay, guys, so we are test driving the 2016 Kia Optima EX Eco Hybrid in this color Snow Pearl. the Key Optima hybrids because right here it says it Eco Hybrid and it has this really pretty bluish color on there. It is a keyless entry car and I do have this remote right here. Ways of opening it you can unlock it using this button just like that and just open the door or let's lock it again. Once you lock it you can see the um, rear view mirrors fold up. I like that because sometimes um, it gets too tight in a garage or in a parking lot or a parking space is too tight and that really helps. Alright, so another way to open it, you can have your key in your purse, in your pocket or just in your hand and the doors, the doors are locked right now but if you are close to the car and you have the keys close by or with you, all you have to do is push this button right here, this button and the door will open for you so you don't have to really use the unlock button if you don't want. I am loving the interior of this car. It is a white leather with some black um, trimmings on it and I think it's really sleek. Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. It looks like a navy blue trimming on the white leather itself. It's more of a creamy white beige um, white leather I should say um, but the trimming on the chair is like a navy blue while the trimming in the car is black so the seat adjustments in the front are automatic I like that I don't like to have to manually do it when I'm driving a push to start car or a keyless car I just like to keep my keys down here so all you gotta do is push on the brakes and this button right here and you guys, this car is so, let me turn the volume down. This car is so quiet, you can't even tell that it's on. I'm in the driver's side right now, and down here there's a couple buttons. One of them is to open up your gas tank, and the other one is to open up your trunk. It's right over here. And then right there you have a little um, lever if you want to open up the front hood. This car does have a blind spot indicator on your rear view mirrors right over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, those will flash if a car is in your blind spot or coming um, next to you and this right here is switched to turn it on and off. And okay, this is a big deal to me because when I'm sitting in the passenger side, I want to be able to like look at myself or put, a lip put some lipstick on and I always look for like the lighting for these visors and this one actually has a switch on and off switch so that this car does have a backup sensor and backup cameras as you can see right here. we're headed to the gym now and we're riding in the car I am in love with the interior the interior is white and black and the leather it just makes it really luxurious feeling inside and as soon as Gerald turned on the car he was like, whoa, I didn't know it was on, or it doesn't feel like it's on. That that was pretty cool. Okay, that was a good workout. What's his name, babe? Huh? Uh, what's his instructor's name? Josh. Josh. Instructor Josh kicks our asses. Zab Judah. He's here. He trains here. Here's the guy that kicked our asses. <laughs> Here is the trunk space of this car. It's not very much, but I think we can fit everything. We just did our weekly groceries. 
girl got an acai bowl from Jamba Juice and I don't know if you guys watched that vlog where I was complaining about the Jamba Juice at the fashion show mall. This is how it should look. Oh my gosh. We got the same one at the fashion show mall and it did not look like this at all and it was like $2 more. This. Hi guys, today is Tuesday. We're on our way to uh, my doctor's appointment right now. We are still rolling in the Kia Optima and Gerald is trying to explain to me how the hybrid part of this car works. Okay, we're on our way to Town Square. This is a touchscreen monitor. You can handle all your navigation through here. Does it work while you're driving? Oh, looks like it does work. There's also a lot of controllers on the steering wheel. You control your cruise control on there. You have your Bluetooth, you can, if you wanna talk on the phone, you have like the answer and hang up buttons there. You can also control your music there. Here, it's showing you what energy the car is using right now. What is it using right now? Gas, right? Right now it's using the motor or the engine and it's driving the car and it's charging the battery at the same time. Hmm. Because we are on the freeway doing about 65 miles an hour. The battery charges two ways. One from the motor and one from your braking. When you, whenever you brake, the battery charges. So right now it's charging the battery, right? Right now, right now it's charging the battery with the motor. So is that why you save gas when you have a hybrid car? That's why most hybrid cars do better in the city than it does in than it does in the freeway. For commuters who are like always in traffic, you know how they're always stopping and going, would a hybrid be recommended? Yes. But as far as um, just driving on the freeway like this. If you're driving all freeway. You're using mostly gas, right? Um, using most all gas. All gas. I think it is rated for 37 miles per gallon on average. So this car does have both cooling and heated seats for the front two seats. Here are the controllers right here. You can pick whether you want hot or cold. Is that like the emergency brake too? Yeah. Dang. It's nice and sleek. It's not sticking up right here or it's down there. Truck. As far as space, as you can see, we do have a booster, but it looks like it's pretty spacious back there. We could probably fit all three kids if we had Kalea's uh, car seat here and Isaiah sit in the middle. That would be great. We have a, like a little sunglass compartment there, and then it does have the dual sunroof, moonroof right here. You cannot manually um, open them and close them because it doesn't have the hooks, but here is the little controller part so just push that to open and it opens both and then if you push it again it'll open it up there and it looks like only the first part opens up my brave princess finally says she wants to get her ears pierced <coughs> all of her princesses that she sees on her t-shirt and stuff yeah, her yeah. and then when she wants to wear like my fake hoops, she'll put it over her ear. Because <laughs> when she was a baby, she took off our earrings and we could never put it back in. So you're gonna sit by yourself, princess, or daddy will sit in daddy's lap? She wants to sit by herself because she's a big girl. Mm. She's gonna move your hair. It's just a clip. She's gonna get a mirror, okay? What a good girl! <laughs> she didn't even like flinch or anything. <gasps> Look at your ears. Oh, pretty. Do you like it? 
Thank you. Yeah. Good job, Kalea. Okay, let's go pay for your extra prize, okay? Kalea's ear piercing was impromptu. She's always um, curious about like jewelry and stuff. She has like this dress up set that comes with clip on earrings. And then when I have hoop earrings on, she wants to try them on, but she'll put it like over her ear. <laughs> so when we ask her if she wants to get her ears pierced, she'll say no. And then sometimes she'll say yes. But today it was a yes, so we're like, we better go while it's a yes. So she did so well. She didn't even gonna have dessert before dinner. Yay, we're gonna have dessert before dinner for the first time in a long time today we are headed to Baskin Robbins we are going to be tasting some of their new things on their menu and we haven't had dinner yet so the kids think it's gonna be fun that we're gonna get to do that today so we're gonna bring you guys along with us Take one double chunk and two chocolate chips cookies in there and they warmed it for us and then I picked vanilla ice cream and chocolate cookie dough and then with toppings we got hot fudge whipped cream cherries and some nuts okay we're gonna try this first Carson what do you think very good very good did you have some of the cookies what do you think Isaiah it's good because it has cookies Kalea did you have any no. Was it good? Cold? Is it cold? <laughs> I picked the double ch chocolate chip and a chocolate chip um, double fudge and then I just got chocolate chip ice cream inside. We're gonna share this right now and try it. He did warm the cookies. Can you only do that? Good? sugar donut and for the filling I did get an Oreo cookies and cream ice cream scoop and they also put hot fudge in there this one is a donut one okay are you excited to try this one all right go ahead baby too big is it yummy she loves donuts <laughs> is it good yeah. Okay, Carson's turn. Thank you. What do you think, Carson? Really good? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a donut ice cream sandwich. Windmill Library. Mommy, yeah, honey. So one sister is in eighth grade. Cool. Yeah. We're getting Max and Ruby books for Kalea. Carson found a Plants vs. Zombie. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> Good job. Okay, get another one. All right, that was a successful trip to the library. My battery's about to die. We're gonna end this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.